Hello guys, this is the start of my second weekly vlog. It's already at night time and it's Tuesday. So I'm sorry I didn't film yesterday, but honestly there would have been nothing to really film anyway. And yesterday was one of the hardest days I've had. Um, it was so stressful. Oh, sorry about that, about the tilting. It was so stressful. A lot of things happened. It, and I'm not even touching base with like the real aspect of yesterday. Like I'm really downplaying it. It was truly one of the worst days that I've seen and I just felt like my world was crumbling down and over the past little bit I've had some things go on in my life that have really made my health falter and I'm just going through a lot and now literally for these past couple of days I haven't felt this bad with my depression and my anxiety well the depression I have but with my anxiety since high school um, there was one brief period, it was when my grandmother passed away in 2017, where I got really, really bad. But besides that, and especially over the past year, I've been doing better than I have in a long time with my, like, anxiety and stuff like that. But my anxiety recently and what it's done to my body over these past few days is really getting to me i'm getting to where i can't eat and like so much stuff is just going on and i am just touching base with a little bit of it i can go into more detail if you want me to at any point in time but yesterday was terrible today has been bad too but i'm trying i have like two days off from teaching substitute teaching so i'm trying to like get back to normal at least for two days hi guys it's wednesday and like i said i'm just feeling really really bad I woke up feeling really, really bad, and I'm starving too. I'm gonna go get my normal Sonic. If you watched my last weekly vlog, you would know. Right now there's some beautiful hummingbirds, about five of them flying around the feeder, and I wish I could show you, but I don't wanna give away my house. They're so beautiful. I love hummingbirds. They're probably my favorite bird. Oh, they are my favorite bird. I just, they are. Anyway, I, anyway, I don't know exactly what I'm doing today. I think I'm gonna go to the library, so I'll bring you along with me for that. I love going to the library and I love reading so whenever I figure out what I'm doing I let you guys know all right guys so I just got ready for the day and I'm gonna go run my errands I've decided to go to the library and then on to Starbucks if you have been a fan of my channel for a while you would know I used to go to Starbucks every single day and then the doctor banned me from coffee haven't had coffee in months I just started treating myself to coffee again and today I'm getting coffee because it's been a terrible week this past week so far these only few days of the week it's been and I'm gonna drink coffee I really don't care what the doctor says I'm drinking coffee because it's not gonna hurt me because the whole reason they wanted me to stop anyway was to test to see if it helped an issue that I have and it didn't so I'm having coffee and I don't even care Alright, so I just got out of the library, and this was the first book that I got. I tried to show you the books, and then of course I dropped one, but first book I got, I went for books this time that are not necessarily uh, the, the normal type that I would get. Um, this is the first one, it's called Mosquito Land, and then the second book I got was this one that says The Whole Thing Together. Like I said, I got a, uh, two books. Ew, what is that? Oh, gosh. Okay, anyway, I got two books that I would normally not get. Normally, I get books with covers that I would be a little bit embarrassed to have at work. And I'm a substitute teacher. And it makes me nervous, especially with high school students, that they'll, like, judge me, like, hardcore. Uh, they're not inappropriate book covers by any means. It's just sometimes book covers are so cheesy, in my opinion. I absolutely kind of hate book covers a lot of the time these ones though look very very you know toned down and like okay and not embarrassing but they're not necessarily what i like to read the best 
but I literally only got these to read at work because right now my home, like at home, I don't have any time to read. But um, it's basically from at work and I'm just sitting and like staring. So I got these books right here and I guess I'll try them out. One of them is about a girl who just takes off on a bus and kind of runs away. And the other one has to do with a family. Not really for sure what it's about that, you know, that much. But I will let you guys know if I do like any of the books, if I decide to keep on reading them or what. But I'll let you guys know. Guys, I've had an extremely productive morning already. I could not sleep whatsoever. I woke up early and I've just been trying to get a lot done. I've enjoyed putting on my makeup and doing a kind of different interesting look this morning. I've enjoyed just listening to Lizzo who is very inspirational. I feel like if you met her in person, she would just be so sweet and kind and loving and just so non-judgmental, which is what we need in this world. Um, so I enjoyed listening and singing and dancing this morning while putting on my makeup to Lizzo. And then I got some YouTube work done, watched some videos as well, and now I'm going to get lunch. So I've already had a pretty productive morning. Uh, my husband's coming over later and we're going to watch American Horror Story, the brand new season, 1984. If you know me well, which I don't talk about it a lot, but the 80s is my favorite time period ever i love the 80s so much so i love how that they are making this the 80s and i love the whole camp like theme literally so much so that being said i hope they don't screw this season up because american horror story just hasn't been the same since literally coven like the first three seasons the first one and the second are my favorite and then coven too so like the first three were amazing and i feel like they just kind of went downhill a tad since since that so we'll see how it goes i i don't know we'll just see hi guys so today i went shopping you're gonna get to see all the footage um soon in just a few minutes i was really happy to get to go shopping again we traveled up to the bigger city because i live in a really small town i've said it a million times i know but for those of you who may be new i live in a very small town so normally all of the shopping gets done at a city above us so luckily we actually got to go back today and i got to go back to the crystal shop that i went to on my birthday which was featured in my last weekly vlog so go check it out if you haven't already but we got to go back and I'm so happy because I didn't think I would get to go back for a, quite a while, like quite a long while. And um, so like I said, I'm really glad that we got to go back. I want to be able to show you guys everything that I got there because I picked up quite a few goodies at the crystal store. So I want to show you those. And then I also, we went to Old Navy. I got, well, my mother got my nephew some adorable, adorable clothes. I got my husband two pairs of really cute socks. One has chickens and toast with eggs on them. I don't know where the chickens came from unless it's just because the eggs. But they're like sunny side up eggs on toast. And then I got him another pair of socks that has bacons and like bacons. Bacon and pancakes on them, which I think she's really cute. Uh, and then I got these really cute earrings. So I just figured I would show you guys. I love these so much. I love this tortoise shell kind of look. It's interesting because when me and my mom were in line, I picked these up. And I was like, I really, really love these. And then when we got up to the cash register... All of a sudden, they were on top of the clothes, and I'm like, how did those get there? Because apparently, she picked them up when we were still in line, but I just never saw her pick them up. But those are my earrings. I'm going to go sit somewhere else to show you my crystals, because I'm kind of uncomfortable sitting here. Woo! And then I put a light to make it brighter, and the light is really, really hurting my eyes. So, give me like one second. to the 
my clear quartz that I got. Let me see. Yes. So I got this really, really pretty piece of quartz. Hello, Wally. Hi. Okay. I got this really, really pretty clear piece of quartz. It was only $7.99. I just looked in the cabinet at all the clear quartz, which is so beautiful displayed. And I just saw this piece specifically and was like, it's so beautiful. Like, I just love how it's like, it's flat, but you pick it up. And of course, it still has the um, towering crystals like coming out of it. I don't know. I guess it was just the shape and how it was just a little bit different, you know? I don't know. There's just something about certain crystals that draw you to them that like you can just feel it in your soul that they're supposed to be yours. So I got this, it's clear quartz. I've been wanting something clear quartz because quartz is one of my most favorites. And then the other two items are in this bag, so let me open them. All right, the next thing I have to show you is this right here. It, this is a carnelian, so this is a carnelian egg. I think it's so pretty. 
I think all the carnelian stuff just looks really beautiful. And anyway, I really wanted an egg. I thought it would be really cool. Some of the shapes I'm drawn to more than others. And of course, this was one of them. But I was really wanting carnelian after I looked in my crystal book that I got for my birthday. And it said, um, it said carnelian was the natural birthstone for September. And for Virgos, and I'm a Virgo. So, I really, really, really want a carnelian after that, and I was so glad that they had them. And this is just a little ring that you could get for 50 cents extra. It's what they have, like, some of the spheres and eggs sitting up on. So, I have a cute little carnelian egg that I absolutely adore. Okay, and the last thing I got is this crazy lace agate right here. This is a palm stone, so it literally fits right in your palm so wally i'm trying to show them something boy i'll play with you in a bit oh so you just knocked over my egg all right anyway i got this crazy lace agate it's a palm stone it fits right in the palm of your hand so nicely and the thing with this is is that shout out to my good friend kelsey from twitter who sent me my birthday presents she sent me a little rose court tumble and like for my anxiety, it has been so calming to rub its, like, soft edges of it. And palm stones are good for kind of, like, the same thing. They're good to hold on to. They give you something to grip and then to rub on. And so I knew that I really, really wanted a special palm stone. And I really, really liked this one. It reminds me a lot of Jasper in a way. And, yeah, this one just caught my eye. And I'm going to use it. And I'm going to use it to help reduce anxiety and stuff like that. I figured I would take it maybe like when I go to the doctor and like when I have to have surgery coming up because see it just fits right in the palm and like I know that other things you can just hold but like okay if it, if you hold one it would make sense to you like I promise it's just it's really calming and soothing kind of like what a stress ball would be but I don't I don't get stress balls like they're not for me but anyway that's what I got at the crystal store so I got my little clear quartz and then I got my palm stone and my little carnelian egg so I absolutely love them I'm excited I always love going to the crystal store then we were also given two little amethyst like tumbles for free which I love I love getting the extra little presents with this stuff this one is so cute it's pretty much like in a shape of a little heart naturally you know it wasn't, it's not like supposed to be a heart. It just kind of looks like one. And then this other little, oh, that was not in the, the frame. This other little amethyst tumble. So yeah, I really love everything and I'm excited to add these to my collection. Hey guys, it is a Sunday, September the 22nd, I think. And I'm currently editing this week's vlog and I'm really not doing much today whatsoever. Went to church and then after that we did groceries and kind of stuff like that. So not a whole lot, so I'm going to go ahead and end this weekly vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog and the last weekly vlog, and I hope that you are excited to see more in the future. Let me know down below how you like these weekly vlogs. And other than that, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, which you can do by hitting my face right up there. And you can watch another one of my videos by clicking right here, and it will mean the world to me if you would do so. And I hope you have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this, and I will see you guys in my next video.